Well, hello everybody out there. How you doing? This is Chuck Taylor from the Taylor Shop, back with another vlog. Uh, the first one we talked about uh, the dreaded chargebacks. This time we're going to talk about something a little more positive: allowables. Um, <clears throat> hope you all are doing well, and thanks for listening to this vlog. Um, basically, you know, allowables have come a long way. Back in the day, many many years ago, there weren't a lot of allowables. Nowadays, you have uh, clients that have tremendous amounts of allowables available, as well as some clients that even offer bid after the fact. So you can complete the work and basically, you know, submit your bid after the fact, after the work was completed. Um, this obviously goes without saying, can be very profitable as long as you're taking advantage of it and not overlooking your, uh, your given allowables and, you know, having orders be sent back. So basically, you know, we want to make sure that the crews know what allowables to use on different loan types to avoid uh, no pay on work completed. So you want to make sure they're, they're doing work that there are allowables for. Um, we've seen uh, many orders uh, where guys complete work on, say, for example, initial secures, and they're doing repairs and mold treating and stuff. And just, you know, based on that specific client's parameters, there are no allowables. So that's work being completed that you're not going to get paid for. Um, you need to make sure you're reading your work order and making sure that you're only completing work that there's an allowable set for. Um, and usually it's pretty well established with uh, different clients, uh, certainly on the work orders. Um, you know, uh, reduce the number of, you need, you know, following, the, these are reasons why you want to pay attention to allowables and utilize them because you, you'll reduce the number of trips to your property, wasting gas and labor costs. Um, by using the allowables the first time and that goes without saying that's one thing that I've always uh, talked about is making sure you're getting these these orders completed right the first time so you don't so you do not have to go back and make a second trip and you know waste time money when you could be getting another work order done it's just that simple um, taking that extra moment that extra time to read the work order making sure you have everything completed before you leave the property is imperative to not having to go back to the property to, to you know, obtain another photo, complete work you should have completed the first time, or provide information. Um, you know, it'll also, you know, using the allowables reduces the number of no-pay orders to return and use allowables. If you don't do it the first time, your client may tell you to go back and do it for free. Because you had the opportunity to do it once for free, you know for an allowable, and you chose not to take advantage of it, they could very easily say, "Well, go back and do it at your cost now, because it's a mistake, it's your error." That's a possibility. Um, you also it'll also help reduce the the number of reopened orders for returns to properties. If you're you know, the key is not to have reopened orders and be constantly returning to properties getting it done right the first time so you know not only is that going to get you more money and get you paid faster it's also gonna you know you're gonna look good to your client you're, you're gonna be getting work orders completed get them in <clears throat> excuse me getting getting them right getting them correct and then there's no need to send them back at, or reopen because they were done right the first time i mean this is this is why nowadays you're seeing a lot more clients with these allowables because um for different types of things that you never saw before it's because this is common issues it's the stuff that they want to have completed um, while you're at the property they don't want you waiting they don't want you to submit a bid and then wait weeks while that issue gets worse or causes a potential violation or citation that's why it's imperative that you utilize these allowables um, you know I like to say you know not leaving money on the table don't leave money on the table if there's money to be made uh, make it. I, I we hear you know we hear we hear it all the time. You I'm sure you've heard it or complained about it. You know um, clients cutting costs, cutting prices and stuff, and that does happen. It happens in any industry. However, if they're giving you allowables, if they're you're even if the cost is less, you know even if it's you know back in you know back in the day, uh, you used to be able to charge you know in uh, bid twenty five dollars a cap a line. Some clients will have you do it for ten dollars. But you're already there doing a secure so why not make that extra money while you're there versus bidding it waiting for the approval you know etc etc so it's just imperative that you, you make sure that <clears throat> you're utilizing these allowables that are being given to you nowadays because we're seeing a, a great increase in the the variance of these allowables 
but unfortunately, not everybody's taking advantage of them. Um, so, what can the tailor shop do to help you make sure that these allowables are being used? And certainly, if not being used, being corrected before it goes to your client. Um, we will notify you when we see you or your crew using non-existent allowables or incor on incorrect loan types to help prevent uh, future loss on time and materials. And basically, like I kind of said before, making sure that they're using the correct allowables for the correct loan type, FHA uh, versus Fannie Mae, there's different allowables. Um, basically, any, at any, any day now, it, you have to look at the work order. The work order might have client-specific allowables versus loan type-specific allowables. So it's just imperative that you look at your work order or, you know, pay attention to any memos or information your, your uh, client provides you. Um, however, uh, we will let you know if this is an issue, if we're seeing it. If, it, if we're seeing a guy complete work that's non-billable, we're going to let you know so you can let him know, don't complete work that we can't get paid for because you're not getting paid for it. Um, uh, we certainly will notify you that allowables are available to can, that can be used and sending your crews back to the, to the field before the client does. So we catch this stuff, you know, if we're, when we're going through an order, not only are we QCing the work completed, but we're checking the work order type, what the allowables are. So if we see an order that he had, you know, certain allowables to complete and he didn't do it and he just, and he bid them or maybe missed them. We're going to let you know and send you back so you can have that completed because the bottom line is if you if you just push that order through with and try to bid them or or, um, or or even worse, not report them at all, the client's going to catch them. They're going to reopen the order, send it back. You're going to look stupid and potentially they might send you back to do it for free. And now you have a reopened order and a late order and it just looks horrible. So, you know, it's better to keep your mistakes in the kitchen, so to speak. And we'll see these things and we'll be able to let you know, hey, get back out there. This is another reason why I'm not going to get into this, why uh, updating orders in real time to us, supplying the update, you know, the completed orders to us in real time is imperative because uh, this helps. If there is an issue, it helps us get the, the order back out in the field and get the corrected uh, information or photos or work completed um, while the guy's still in the field. Uh, we all, you know, and that, this goes without saying, but we help, you know, prevent reorders from being reopened for that allowable work and eventually affecting your, you know, if you have a contractor scorecard with your client, this, this is, this will affect that because reopened orders, you know, are negatively affect, you know, a lot of things, not, not the least being a scorecard, um, you know, could affect work volume. It could affect, you know, obviously, uh, revenues. It could affect a lot of things, uh, not just that specific order. It could have a long-term uh, effect on how much work you do receive if you're not taking advantage of it. Because let me let me reassure you, if you're not getting the job done out there, somebody else will get the job done. So it's imperative that you make sure that you're on top of all the changing allowables, changing available allowables, and making sure you're taking advantage of them. Because you know I, I've seen it. And I can't help but say it, and it, it might sound harsh, but again, if you're not getting the job done, trust me, there's a guy out there that will get it done, especially nowadays with all these allowables. Whereas back, you know, again, I hate to say it, but back in the day, you, you know, you go do initial secure, you could just change the locks, do a wit, do a grass cut. And that was it. If, if you're, you know, during the summer months. Well, now, you know, you can go do those, you know, do a lock and a, and a grass cut and maybe a wint if, if you're, if you're allowed to. And then you could also cap lines to maybe do some minor repairs, install handrails, whatever. Or, you know, if you have, say, I know Wells Fargo, for example, you know, they do a lot of bid after the fact work. You can get, you know, you can take, you know, a very a, a small dollar work order, uh, uh, call, you know, um, invoice such as an initial secure. And you could, you could, you know, multiply it by two or three times that based on the additional work you get. So it's just very imperative that you pay attention to these allowables. And again, we've seen the, the, the change over the last uh, year of the increase. And this is one of the one of the other benefits of the tailor shop is that we make sure that your guys are catching these allowables and, and utilizing them and, and making you the money that you deserve because they're now offering these allowables. And again, if they don't, we're gonna catch it, we're gonna send it back. We're gonna tell your guy, hey, get back out there, get that work done, get paid, get your money. 
move on to the next order and take it as a learning lesson. Don't let it happen again. You're just you're just leaving money on the table and you don't want to do that. So anyways, that's my little my little rant on allowables. Um, hope you guys uh, found it informative. Uh, but uh, but anyways, um, again, I'm going to be putting these uh, these little vlogs out once a week. Um, if you have any topics or suggestions, please uh, send them through. You can send them through LinkedIn. You can send them through our website or anything like that. Um, and again, thanks for watching.